Alright guys, so I get comments uh, quite a bit on what I keep my tank parameters at, <clears throat> and to be honest with you guys, I don't really test my tank too much anymore, except for the alkalinity and the calcium is the thing that I test the most often, but as far as ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite, I don't really test it too often anymore, and I probably should, so as of like right now, I don't know where my tank is, <laughs> so I figured um, I would show you guys. Um, and the equipment or the test kits that I use. So for my calcium, I use the NIOS calcium test kit. It's very, very, very easy to read. So I use this one for my calcium. Anybody else see that happen? And then for my alkalinity, I absolutely <laughs> use the HANA checker. Um, alkalinity test in any test kit is hard for me to read, so the digital. Hannah checker is fantastic. So I use the Hannah checker for alkalinity. <clears throat> ammonia, I use Red Sea. I use Red Sea for everything else. Um, I use Red Sea ammonia and then nitrate, nitrite. And I used to use the Red Sea um, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium test kit. Um, but since I, I like how easy the NIOS one is to read, and the Hannah checker, it does it for you. So, and these ones are pretty pretty easy to read um, so I don't have a magnesium test kit um, every every time I have ever tested my magnesium in the past four years it's always been around like 1400 so I just don't even bother ch checking my uh, magnesium now I want to check my tank today because I have a sneaking suspicion that the water is too clean um, I say that because my um, Toadstool, like my softies are really, really struggling right now, and one of my chalices is doing a little bit of a struggle right now, too. Um, so I have a very sneaking suspicion that my tank is too clean. Now, I say that because I don't feed my fish heavily at all. I put like a small chunk of seaweed in every day, and once a week I feed LRS. Um, I have a massive stockpile of copepods, that's why the fish are still fat. So they, they eat natural crap in the tank and I, I manually feed them, you know, about once a week is when they get the meaty food. Um, every day I put a little chunk of seaweed. Other than that, I don't feed my corals at all. Um, I used to and I ended up with a massive phosphate problem. Um, so I got a feeling the water just may be too clean for the, for the, for the softy. So that's why I went ahead and got the, uh, the ammonia nitrate nitrite. And I'm going to need it anyways for the cycling of the rock and the, the cycling of the tank, which this stuff right here, let me tell you guys, that shit stinks. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the test and we'll go get uh, some tank water. Oof. I'm doing it out here because I got the baby sleeping right now. Alright, so let me set this all up on the tripod and we'll get going. Alright, so the first one I think I'll start off with is, uh, let's just do ammonia. Alright, so we'll start off with, uh, let's do nitrite, I guess let's work with uh, the actual cycle here, alright, so there's that, alright, so nitrite. Says let it sit for nine minutes. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next test. We'll just go ahead and uh, do calcium. This is the uh, instructions for NIOS. So we're going to get our little vial out here. 
Now I haven't used this test kit in a while, so what I'm going to do is actually kind of rinse out the, uh, the vial a bit with some of the tank water. Yeah, I got a little bucket over here. Alright, so... And it looks like I may have lost the tip. Let me see if I can find the tip for it. Right here, right here, and that says that our calcium is at 390. So I'm going to need to raise my calcium. So that's 390 there, and then I just discard this. I'll wash these all out later. Alright, yeah, so we'll go ahead and do alkalinity. This one I use the most. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to kind of rinse the vial with uh, the tank water. So right now I have 191, so what I need to do is get out of that app. So I need to take the 191 and times that by 0 0.056, which gives me a DKH of 10, which is where I like to keep mine, believe it or not. I like to keep my alkalinity higher. So that is, uh, that's spot on, I'm happy with that. And then just hit the button again and it turns off. Alright, leave the cap off so it'll dry and wash them later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our ammonia here. And what you do with this test kit is you put it on the little white circle right here and then you compare um, the colors around there and that's why I like doing this on a white table because there's more contrast so looking down at this it's definitely not 0 0.2 definitely not 0 0.4 definitely not 0 0.8 and then I go over 0 0.0 all 0 and uh, this even looks a little too light for even that so I'm gonna say that we're at 0 on ammonia let me see if I can't get you guys a look at that real quick guys can see that but um, definitely matches up better there than it does on any of the other colors so I'm gonna say we're at zero with uh, ammonia so what I'll do is I'll dump this I'll go ahead and get this and I'll rinse out these chemicals Alright, so then the next test we're going to do is, um, oh no we're not, we're going to have to wait still a little bit for, uh, that was the ammonia. So let's go ahead and look at our uh, nitrate. This is nitrate. Um, no it's not. 
I did nitrite first. Okay. So we've been waiting. So now we want to have zero nitrate or nitrite. So again, same thing. There's little white circles in the center and you just kind of compare it. You kind of put half of your vial over the color and half of it over the white circle. And then you look from the top. It's definitely not the pink. There's definitely zero pink. It just looks like clear water to me. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the pink through there, but definitely none of that. And then we just go over where it says zero nitrite, and that looks good to me. It just looks like nice clear water. So, so I'm going to say we've got zero nitrite. Next test is going to be um, nitrate with an A. So let me get that test card out of here and bring that one in. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the vial with the tank water real quick. kind of suck sometimes doing these test kits when you got to shake them for so long. Alright, so after uh, part B we're going to add the titration powder C. Then we cap and shake for 10 seconds. After this 10 seconds, we let it sit for 9 minutes. And then we do the same thing, compare it on this little color chart here. So I will come back to you guys in 9 minutes. And uh, if uh, what my theory is, I got a feeling we're going to see zero nitrate as well. So anyways, let's uh, find out. I'll see you guys in 9 minutes. Alright guys, it's been about 10 minutes. Um, so let's see. Okay, definitely not two parts. It looks like, <laughs> yep, looks like we're at zero. So let me uh, do my best to show you guys. So here, down in the test tube, we're going to move it over to two. And you can clearly see the pink there. And obviously it's not going to be any of these higher ones. I'm going to go to zero, and it just looks like clear water. So we have zero nitrate as well. So um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna, I'll be using the uh, ammonia and nitrite and nitrate test kit to uh, monitor the uh, cycling of this rock, the curing of the rock. And uh, I think I'm definitely gonna be throwing some uh, carbon in there because this stinks to high hell. It stinks real bad, and the water's like piss yellow. It's real gross. So. Uh, and this has only uh, been a day so far. So, all right, um, that's uh, the test kits, and uh, that's the levels of my tank right now. I'm gonna definitely uh, raise my calcium a little bit, not too much though. Uh, maybe just add one more dosing cycle to that, and my alkalinity is exactly where I want it. So um, I got no problems with my 10 dKH right now. So that's it, guys. We'll uh, see you in another one.